Hey YouTubers, I want to show you today how to clean some walleye. I went out fishing this morning, uh, Blue Ridge Lake. Those of you who haven't tried Blue Ridge Lake, uh, a lot of people think there's not a lot of fish in it. There is fish in it. Uh, I know that Department of Natural Resources that stocked it with a lot of walleye, but there's a good healthy walleye population in there. Caught a couple of fish this morning. Uh, I'm going to show you how to clean them. If you've never cleaned walleye, uh, it's not complicated. The thing here is, I a couple years ago have gone electric and I know Rapala makes an electric knife. I also make, I don't make, I use an electric knife. You will see this is a American Angler Ultra and it comes with a nice blade. Be careful. If you've never used this before, it's kind of intimidating. Uh, I like using a regular fillet knife for certain fish, uh, but I've switched over to this when I'm doing multiple fish and it's just a lot easier. Let me show you the uh, fish that we got here today. Uh, some nice walleye from Blue Ridge. Again, very nice looking fish here. Uh, again, good healthy population in there. They're a little hard to catch, but they are in there. I'll kind of walk you through what I do to catch them. Here's another nice one. Nice one. Both these fish today, uh, ironically enough, sometimes these fish when they hit, when these fish hit, they don't hit that hard. And uh, one of the fish that we caught on was a just a copper gold spoon from Crocodile. Uh, you can get these at Academy Sports. Bigger the better. Don't be afraid to go small. Uh, the other one, this is a Stingray uh, blue uh, UV spoon. You can use that deep. Uh, this particular fish hit this down about 35 feet down and this one came 50 feet down so don't be afraid to go deep if you've got downriggers like I have here in my boat you see these downriggers they'll get you down to 50 and 35 feet again depends on the time of the year and that water column and where you need to be let me go ahead and show you um, real quickly how to clean these fish again this is a good eating fish you want to be very careful I'm going to move this one over here right now to the side but as you clean these fish you know, up north, places you can get nice walleye dinners for $17, $18, $19, $20. Dollars. So you really want to make sure that you take your time. But come underneath this dorsal fin on the side here. Make an incision. Now, all these fish have is a, is a backbone that runs along here. So you do not want to go through the fish. It's real easy to do with an electric knife. Kind of like a chainsaw. You just let it go, but you got to be real careful. So as I'm running this, I'm going to turn the blade. I'm going to come right on down that backbone. Let the blade do the work, a little pressure, and bring it all the way down to the tail. Get as much of that meat as you can. You lay that open, that's a good quality fillet right there. There are many different ways to fillet a fish. This is how I have filleted over the years. I've done literally hundreds of them. Come down all the way to the backbone, turn. Work it along, nice and easy, nice and gently. Let the blade do the work. Get a good long fillet. Makes these walleye real nice. You'll notice the meat is very white, uh, which makes them great. Again, that's all you need off of that particular fish. We'll go ahead and do the second one. These are pretty hefty walleye. Um, now these are in that 20 inch range. 21, 22 inches. Nice, big, healthy walleye. Take an incision down to the backbone. Turn the blade. Just walk that blade down nice and gently. These fish are frozen. They've been on ice. Make sure that when you're fishing for walleye, pull this fish up from 50 feet down. You can't see this one, but his bladder will come out through his mouth. And that fish is dead. Then what you want to do you want to take your fillets. These, this is the rib cage here. You want to just take your blade, work right down the edge of that. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room. It's really good eating. Leaves you with just the skin. You're going to put these on the grill. You can leave the skin on if you want to grill them. But I like to take them off. We like these deep fried between two pieces of bread. Make a little incision to where you just want to get yourself something so you can hold on to it. 
and you're just going to work this right along the very edge. That skin is pretty thick, you'll be amazed. You get that blade right along the bottom. And there's your fillet right there. Do that for the other ones. And again, you can't go wrong. Again, lures, walleye, Blue Ridge Lake. Great combination. If you get a chance, check out Blue Ridge Lake.